what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. So, in the candle world, there's a performance spectrum of how a candle scent performs with cold and hot throw. You basically have your subtle candles all the way to the very strong candles. And these Jonathan Adler candles are undoubtedly very strong candles. I've been getting so many requests to review Jonathan Adler candles and for very good reason. A huge thank you to the Jonathan Adler team for sending over a few of their candles. They are quite impressive for sure. I mean the brand overall is exceptional in terms of quality and luxury. Designer Jonathan Adler began pottery at a very early age. He opened his first store in Soho back in 1998. And fast forward to today where he has many locations worldwide. The main focus of this brand is interior design aesthetics. And you can definitely see that through the extensive selection of luxury items like different pieces of furniture. There are sofas, chairs, credenzas, dressers, dining tables, almost any type of furniture you can think of. Then there are the items that Jonathan Adler is known for, at least in my opinion, and those are the amazing, breathtaking pottery pieces. The detail, the execution, the luxury will bring any space up at least 10 notches. These are the type of decor items I feel a connection to. If I made pottery, that will be my goal. I will want people to stare at my pieces and form some type of connection to them. I would want them to be like works of art, which is what they essentially are. One of my favorite art forms is surrealism, so maybe that's where my love for this brand comes from. The different pottery Jonathan has is inspired by surrealism. One vase in particular that I'm really drawn to is the Atlas Split Vase. The visual aspect of that piece is stunning. When I first seen it, I stared at the picture for a good 15 minutes, knowing how incredible it'll look as the centerpiece of my coffee table. I think I have to get it at this point. Jonathan Adler basically offers items for every single room of the house, from furniture and rugs to pottery and dinnerware. This is a brand I thoroughly enjoy. If you're familiar with brands like Fornicetti, then you will definitely enjoy Jonathan Adler. There's also the candles, of course. Can't forget about those. You get the perfect mix between that aesthetically pleasing design of the vessels with an amazing scent. A very strong scent, I might add. They sent over a few of their candles, but the ones I want to talk about today are the Muse candles. I mean, just look at these beautiful porcelain vessels. This surreal design of the face is actually inspired by Doromar, a French photographer, poet, and painter who was also Pablo Picasso's muse. This beautiful muse aesthetic seen throughout the brand is my favorite thing about it. And now that I'm seeing it in person, pictures does it no justice. It's really a great piece to look at, so I will definitely have them sitting out in the open. It's a must. And since they don't come with lids, I will have to cover it with a glass cloche after a while or put it back in a box or burn the top layer of wax so dust won't accumulate on top of it. No one likes a dusty candle. It's not a good look. This first Muse candle is my favorite and it's called Muse Duel. Hopefully I'm right about that pronunciation. The vessel is developed with this unique golden glaze that doesn't obscure the details of the vessel. When the light hits it from just those perfect angles, the details from the shadows make the vessel even more incredible, showing that gold color in different variations of light. It almost seems as if the vessel is glowing with this golden color. I've been catching myself staring at it sometimes because there's just something about the surrealism of the face that's captivating. The best angle is that three quarters view from above. You see much more detail than just looking at it straight on, and plus you get a view of that beautiful glow from the candle burning. This vessel was made for an art deco style space with gold accents. Even a bohemian space will work great with different warm hues of color. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with this vessel in particular. Now, these candles have a soy and paraffin blend wax. Soy for that cleaner burn and paraffin for that stronger scent reach. Oh, it reaches. More on performance in a second. Y'all know my stand on paraffin wax. Not my preference. I wish it was straight soy or some other type of vegetal wax. But this is a brand where I enjoy many of their other items that they offer, and many of you asked to bring these candles to the channel, so I figured why not. I would probably just end up using my candle warmer with these candles anyways. Now, the scent of Musidor. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... The feeling it gives me reminds me of my favorite candle of all time, Madeline from Sir Dong. The scents aren't similar, it's just the feeling that this candle gives me share similarities to the Madeline scent. There's almost this euphoric feeling in a way. That's the best way I can describe it. I base a lot of what I enjoy in life around feeling. So for candles, it's not just because the scent smells good. Majority of the candles I enjoy comes with a deeper meaning to why I'm adding them to the collection. Maybe a bit much, but this is how I navigate through so many scents. I dislike having things for the sake of just having them. How does it make me feel and what enjoyment will it bring my home and myself? For me, Madeline from Sir Dunan is the pinnacle of a candle. For me, personally, of course. And for Muse Door to come close to that, 
is quite remarkable. Okay, I feel myself going off the deep end. Okay, this scent is comprised of beautiful pink pepper and sage balsam. Although pink pepper is classified as a spicy note, I'm not really picking up any spice. More than anything, I'm picking up an almost fruity nuance with a touch of floral like a light rose characteristic. And with sage balsam, I'm getting a slight herbaceous smell with a touch of earthiness. The sage balsam is not strong at all. It's blended well with the pink pepper. I feel like there could be something else in here that isn't listed. Or these two notes are just very well blended together. The cold throw is going to be moderate, a little stronger than most, but still moderate in my opinion. But the hot throw is a completely different story. Now, I was expecting a strong scent throw because of the paraffin. The first 30 minutes or so, I was like, where's the scent? What's going on here? It's like the candle heard me because it started to slap me around the room for at least three hours. I barely made it out. All joking aside, the hot throw is very strong to say the least since this is a paraffin blended candle and it has two wicks. There should always be two wicks if the candle vessel allows for it. Of course you have to consider the melting point of the wax and much more. I'm just a two wick guy. It does take a little while for the wax to pull out. I've noticed it takes a little longer than three hours each burn, maybe three and a half hours at most. You just have to really enjoy a strong hot throw for a long period of time. What if y'all do make it quick? I think I'm pass out. This is great for a large room or open concept. Putting this in a small room, small room meaning a small bathroom or a small bedroom, will not be ideal in my opinion. I mean, unless that's your thing. Don't get me wrong, the scent itself isn't nose bleeding strong. It's strong in terms of how well the scent fills the room. This is also an anytime scent that you can burn throughout the day and anytime during the year. It's universal. And then there's Gilded Muse, keeping with the signature Doramar vessel. This one has gold iconography accents placed around the entire vessel. Iconography elements is also seen on the box that the candle comes in. This design gives the vessel more of an artistic, unique approach than the other Muse vessels. And it's in shiny porcelain, so that luxury feel and look makes it a bit more special. I believe all the Muse candles are porcelain, and I love the look of a porcelain vessel. Not too many brands use it for vessels. I know Fornicetti is one, so let me know in the comments if you know of any others. This vessel can also work for an art deco home. It can even lean more towards a modern contemporary space with gold accents. And the scent matches the vessel in every way. I mean, I still prefer the scent of the Muse Dora candle, but this scent still provides the luxury aroma. It's funny because I love my citrus candles, which is what this one is. It just doesn't hit like the Muse Dora candle. The scent is still amazing though. You get the prominent note of pink grapefruit mixed with raspberry, French cassis, violet leaves, rose petals, and grape leaf. There's a lot of fresh, bright notes to unpack on this one. You have citrus from the pink grapefruit up front, but you're introduced to some fruity nuances that isn't strong since grapefruit within itself is a pretty prominent note. It's a light fruitiness with a touch of sweet. The performance of this candle is about the same as the other. The cold throw on this is also going to lean more moderate, but the hot throw is going to be a little stronger than Muse Door, which is already a very strong performer. I left my apartment while this was burning. Don't worry, someone was here, but when I got back, I smelled this scent from the outside of my apartment door. If you want strong candles and don't mind paraffin, these are two recommendations for you. Gilded Muse is definitely a morning and afternoon scent for its bright qualities. You really get that brightness of citrus while this is burning with fruity sweet qualities. Such a beautiful scent. I would recommend for a large to open concept as well. It's going to fill the room easily. Jonathan Aller has some impressive candles with vessels and scents that are unique to the brand. Like I said, if you want a very strong candle that looks and smells incredible, give the Muse candles a try. I also have a few of their vibrant pop candles, so if you'd like to know more about them, let me know in the comments. I'll tell you what, I cannot stop thinking about that vase. I may just have to pick it up to add in for my living room tour video. Well, that's going to be it for today's conversation. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.